calibrating the bevel axis. After watching the homing video and the how to calibrate each axis video for the blade wood processing system, determine if the bevel axis needs to be calibrated. It probably needs calibration if the center lines on floor webs are off or the leading and trailing heels of bottom cords don't match each other like they should. Gather the supplies listed here. If you haven't already inspected the bevel assembly, lock out tag out the saw and inspect the bevel motor assembly and general area for debris or binding. Inspect the home sensor for loose or damaged parts and cables. Push and pull on the blade assembly in the direction of the bevel axis to check for tightness in the gearbox. If no mechanical issues are found that would affect saw accuracy, remove the lockout tagout devices and power up the saw and touchscreen. To calibrate the axis, ensure the status banner on the blade home screen shows ready. You may need to press the home system button on the toolbar if the system is not in the ready state. The saw must be in manual mode for the home system button to work. With the saw in manual mode, select Calibrate from the Tools ribbon. The calibration screen appears. Select Bevel and press Start on the calibration screen. If a selection window appears, select Home Position. Place the saw in Auto Mode and start the saw blade motor. Use a straight 2x4 as instructed in the supplies list without any crown or bow. It is not necessary to use the cut straight board feature, but it should be a high quality straight board. Clear the saw of lumber and place the board indicated on the infeed rail. When it's done, the board ejects automatically. During the bevel calibration process, the saw will end up plunging two times for each cut, a total of seven cuts into the back of your board. Each cut is represented by a letter starting with the letter G, descending to F, to E, all the way down to the letter A. These cuts will end up intersecting, showing you how the bevel gradually changes position on the second plunge cut. Follow-on instructions can be found on the screen. It will end up telling you to choose the letter printed on the board, which corresponds to the pair of cuts with the smallest step or no step. It will also give you a depiction of no step, which would be your desired cut, and a step. In this instance, the cut that's most desired would end up being the letter D. You may want to compare the original and new numbers on the final value screen just to be aware if you're having the same problem over and over again. If so, determine the mechanical cause and fix it.